Hello everyone, welcome to Smart Investing. This video today is going to be about the special dividends for this month of March 2022. There are a bunch of stocks. Uh, I have about, I'd say, looking at the list, I have about 30 stocks. This is only half the list, so this is the part one video. I'm going to make a part two next week, so I'm getting a head start, so that way I can do half the stocks today. So by next week, which will be the end of the month, will be the second video, and that will be the ending of the video, and then that way, uh, whatever else comes in through that week, I can add on for the video for next week. So basically, uh, I'm doing half the portion today and then the next portion is going to be next week. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing the continuation of the banking services sector or industry, whichever you want to call it. That's also part of the banks sector, as I like to call it. Uh... Any other plans I'm trying to think I have in mind? Um, that's about it. Uh, again, I'm going to continue that and just keep it straightforward. So let's begin with the special dividend stocks. Again, let me announce this too. If you're your first time viewer watching this as well. The stocks that I mentioned, not all of them are going to be special dividend stocks, which is why I'm going over them in this video. But usually, nine times out of ten, and most definitely the majority of these companies, uh, based on my research, they usually are special dividend paying companies. It's just that when I get notified, I get notified. So when I review them, I like to review them through the video because it also helps you get insight, even though it's not a special dividend paying company. And there are times where I use the app and then for some reason... It shows that uh, the payment went through for a high payment. Like it, like for example, let's say a company quarterly pays eleven cents, and so I'll look at the dividend payments on the history on Webull, but then all of a sudden it doesn't say special dividend payment. But the payment won't be 11 cents. And then they'll pay pretty much the same week as the dividend payment. But again, it could be like a dollar payment. But it don't say special dividend payment. So... I consider that a special dividend payment. It, it might say bonus payment or something else. Uh, there's times where it doesn't even say dividend payment. It just shows the payment. So again, that's the good thing. It'll 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 show that it went through, which is what we all want. But it just doesn't say the type of payment. So again, I take it as a special dividend payment. I don't know if there are other types of payment. Uh, if anybody knows, please be sure to email me, send me a comment. The only two types of payment that I know from stocks are special dividend payments and dividend payments, obviously. If there's a new terminology or a new kind of payment that I don't know about, please educate me because I haven't heard of anything new. I still do pretty fresh research. Um, I do up-to-date research, so I don't know of any other payment. Uh, I know people call the bonus dividend payment, which is similar to the special dividend payment. 
it's a similar name. I mean, some people say the bonus payment or bonuses, but from from my understanding, from what I know, that's the same thing as a special dividend payment. So again, if whoever does accounting, that's a whole nother level. Again, I could be wrong. I'm not an accountant, so again, for I'm leaving it to the licensed and certified people and all everybody who's involved with legal standards. So again, I gotta throw my disclaimer. If you're going to invest in the stock market, please consult somebody who's licensed and insured. I'm not licensed and insured. Please consult an advisor. Uh, if you know an accountant, even if you have questions about um, taxes or whatever, or that's a whole new ball game. I don't get involved with that. I wish I can answer questions, but I can't. I'm not certified, and I do not want to be liable for misleading investors again i don't like giving the wrong information so i'm going to leave it at that again the stock market carries great risk but also great rewards so if you're going to invest do it with somebody who's licensed and insured please so with that said let's begin the video so the first ones that i have up i don't know if i have one stock as my first selection Really good selection. I don't know if I want to start off with that one first. But uh, that might be a bonus stock. So actually, I'll throw that out first. Since I don't, since that's the one on the list, I don't want to miss it. So let's begin. I'm going to try to run through these stocks. Some of these stocks you may have heard of. Some of them you may have not. And again, let me repeat one more thing before I begin, so that way you're prepared to understand what I'm about to show you and, you know, to understand what I'm trying to provide for you, so that way you sort of know in advance before I actually talk about it. Some of the stocks that I do have on my list as well, they might have a similar symbol ticker symbol but the last letter might be different again it's the same company but i have also in the special dividend payments same company but different class of shares again so each classes are different you might have voting rights for one you have might might have no voting rights for another uh some classes only involve where it's insiders only when I mean insiders, I mean people that are actually involved with the company, people that actually work for the company, like the management team and all the corporate people, all the CEOs and all the officers and the accountants, everybody involved with the company who's officially in business pertaining to the company, not outsiders as they say, uh, like us, like retail investors and everybody else who's trying to uh, invest in the stock. These are all like outsiders, as I like to say. If you have insiders, you're going to have outsiders. So, uh, yeah, there's going to be a few companies with a similar name, but might be a different class. So let's begin. Let's throw out with the first one. I wasted about... Uh, 10 minutes here so sorry about that so let's begin nine minutes in so let's begin first special dividend or as i like to say bonus dividend as well because it's a bonus first company that i have is e o g let's type that in i have e o g for the first company let me move my camera screen there this company is a special dividend paying company. I like this company. I've seen it before. I know oil and gas, especially gas right now. Gas prices are very expensive. And you're, if you're an investor, you want to take a look at this company. Again, watch list it. I'm not recommending any buy or sell signals or any recommendations or any prices or anything uh as i grow my channel again i have to understand and 
keep my liability purposes to that standard. So I don't want to get any, any strikes on YouTube. So again, so I can provide you useful information. I don't want to get any, any strikes on YouTube. So there's certain limitations that I can say and cannot say. Again, every once in a while, I try to mention things. Um, I know other YouTube channels do, but uh, again, I can't make any recommendations. But the best I can do is just give you hints, and that's all I can say. So, EOG. Very active stock. This company is involved with the oil and gas production, if I'm not mistaken, but I will look at the profile to double check. Company is a $73 billion company. Company is fairly valued at around a 15.6 PE. Forward looking PE is about to go down. There are not any guarantees of the future expectations about to go lower. That's what insiders might think or realize for their expectations. But again, certain expectations change as to other investors as well. There are other people that are involved and invested into so many companies, different companies. So that's why they say uh, past performance is not a... It's not an indication of future performance. So, continuing with the feedback and the info that I have to provide for you. 52-week low is at 60. 52-week high is at 124.89. With oil being as it is, my opinion, this is close to the price right now so we have a price of right now and this is off hours this is you know off hours right now it's the weekend again i failed to mention the date today is saturday march 25th it is my birthday weekend actually so i'm doing this um to enjoy myself and kill some time and uh i kind of like to do youtube videos because um again i i'm really dedicated to the stock market uh and I just you know i'm very interested I, I like to do it i know what i'm doing and it's just an interest um i look at it more than a hobby so that's what i like to do so as we can see here it's close to the highs definitely a good sign you can expect that this price can beat the 52 week high i'd say starting next week that's what i'm really going to be looking at strong volume as you can see very active stock and i'm not saying this stock has been active as of two weeks ago last week three weeks ago this company has been active for months and months and months again some people might look at the dividend payment, which is pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Most people, again, would criticize the dividend yield. What people see right at first sight is not always what it seems. This is what I'm giving you. Their earnings are close to a eight. Hold on. Let me uh, show that. Earnings for sure is close to an eight. Uh, all the numbers look good. Everything looks good. The chart looks good even for one day. You can see for the year. And this is where the special dividends come in. As we can see here, usually a company pays quarterly. So you have one dividend payment, two, three, four, five, and six for the year. That is two extra payments. Now, why... Did we have two extra payments? Let me show you the company real quick. EOG Resources, oil and gas exploration and production. Uh, there are other terms uh, that professionals use. If you walk into 
a a real investment um how can I say this like an investment meeting or if you're if you're really strictly professional and you want to invest privately when it comes to high net worth individuals they're going to ask you certain questions if you're actually have a certain amount to invest and they actually ask you financial information like personal information I've, I've gotten that before i just it wasn't my thing i couldn't afford it anyway but it's always good to learn anyway um and i'll leave it at that so anyways what i was gonna say is you have different terms when it comes to oil and gas and someone professionally might throw you off and say, are you interested in upstream, midstream, or downstream? So now, some people might say, whoa, okay, um, you don't want to look dumb, but you kind of want to know what that is. So upstream is basically what we pay at the pump. Companies like ExxonMobil and all that. Midstream is actually the production. They actually do the delivery. These are all the people that transport the gas that actually we get the gas from. They produce the gas. Uh, downstream is actually the drillers. These are the people that actually drill in to the grounds and stuff like that. Uh, you have geologists that want to look at certain locations for for different areas to uh, look for gas and oil and other minerals and all that. I don't want to get into the details of all that because it's, it's a lot of information. But you can always look that up. Again, you could look at the profiles like I do and read and educate yourself. Uh, look at websites. Look at the name of the company. Do that research. Again, it's too much information to provide for you because I know people get bored. Um, that's too much time on my hands to explain to you. So again, I just want to give you just quick, solid, valuable feedback. So again, with that said, the most valuable, I think, in my opinion, it's usually the production people, the ones in the middle. Because when it gets delivered, you know that the consumer is going to buy it. So it, once... That process of delivery, and once you have it on hand, that the the middleman, as I like to call it, because there's, I mean, there's so many people involved, but sometimes a middleman can help. Sometimes, in dirt in different sectors, uh, people will try to cut off the middleman nowadays. So it kind of sucks for the middleman to not get paid. Their various uh sources now and also companies just try to cut that up because it's just too much cost and uh hassle some companies see it that way others don't so with that said uh eog uh really good company solid company they're international um if you're heavily into oil and gas and you're an expert on it I mean, I'm no expert, but I know enough, and I know more than the average. Uh, again, as you can see, just from reading, you can actually see uh, the locations. So they're producing basins in the USA, Trinidad and Tobago, uh, China, Sultanate of Oman. That's probably, it sound, I'm guessing that's the Middle East. So you have to be somewhat familiar of global trade as well. Uh, if you're just doing the U.S., again, you're limiting your knowledge to each their own. I like to expand uh, my knowledge and resources and my expectations. So if you're just doing domestic, you know, good for you. If that's what you want to have as your expertise, then so be it. Uh, but I like to do as much as I can. That just uh, makes me grow and learn and be more knowledgeable and valuable as a person and for my mindset. 
So as we can see here, they are in operations for crude oil, natural gas, NLGs, sorry, NGLs, sorry, I said it wrong. Uh, you see gas exploration and production. So we have, and this is U.S. They focus on a crude oil to a less, lesser extent. Uh, they try to go for liquid rich natural gas plays. So what, what that tells me, especially this is the most important that is the most important. That deserves a star. That is the most important sentence, I think, in that whole profile. So when they're trying to drill, they want to have quality oil and gas. Um, don't ask me how they test it. I mean, I'm sure they probably take samples, send it to a lab, do what they got to do. Whoever's involved with that is involved with that. Uh, so anyways, I guess... They're definitely quality when it comes to the company. And again, I love quality. This is where the fun begins. This is where the quality begins. You look at so many companies. I know people, again, hear about the same companies when it comes to oil and gas. People think of Chevron right away, what they pay at the pump. Or ExxonMobil, uh, Sunoco, uh, BP, There's uh, Shell. There's so many gasoline brands out there but um more importantly it's really the midstream companies so as we can see here let's go back to let's go back to 2020 because it's not too far away and it's not that old it's pretty recent so let's go back to the 2020s so starting from 2020 they have a 28 cents jumped up to 37 cents so if we look here all the way to 2020 that was the bulk of 2020 right there so we're looking at about oh sorry let me include this one let me start that again so uh let's draw that board again this is all of 2020 so as we can see here that is a jump of uh let's see nine cents then from 2020 to 2021 starting off the year dividend remained the same next quarter you got a raise a few months later they paid a dividend and the special dividend of a dollar Again, you can see this trend here. This is what I want to point out. Here and here. All of this. Let's see. Raising dividends. Raising dividends. So that's a raise. And then that's a raise. So we're looking at about a yearly raise. And this is not just a small raise. I've seen companies where they give at most, three cents quarterly, four cents, a nine cents raise quarterly from each quarter. Or how can I say, if you were to add, so nine times four, 36. So a 36 cents raise yearly, that's a pretty damn good raise for your stock selection. And I'm just saying that because I know from experience, so as we can see here, again, 2021, the dividend payment, special dividend payment. December of 2021, special dividend payment. As we can see here, March of this year, March 14th, we have a, uh, it doesn't say special dividend, but that is a special dividend payment. Because you can see here, they paid a dollar, and you can see here, they paid a dollar. So that's what I said in the beginning of my video. Sometimes they don't say special dividends, but they are special dividends. So that one is a special dividend. So, as we can see here, in January, from a $0.41 cents 
all the way to a 75 cents. So, again, I would definitely watch list this company. This is a damn good company. It's, I think, one of the best I've seen when it comes to the oil and gas production or just oil and gas in general. I think it's even better than the brands that you pay at the pump. Uh, again, just because of special dividends. Again, I know they don't pay a high yield. But again, they do have the special dividend payments and the dividend increases is... Uh, sorry, I got tongue twisted. They have those dividend payments increasing and those special dividend payments in which what you want as, a, as an investor. So as we can see here, we have the splits of... 2014, a two for one, so that's not bad. Uh, sorry I took up too much time, but this is a really good company. And I can only see this breaking new highs. And it's close to reaching new highs. So this is only about a 40 cents difference. I think this is going to go to new highs. So this company is really going to be active and really going to be activated for next week. So I could see this breaking new highs by the way things are going. So uh, sorry I kept that up, but I'm, I was just excited about that stock. So let's move on to the next one. And, uh, and that was just the bonus one. That was the bonus stock. Next up that I have is MRTN, Martin Transport. Uh, sorry, I misspelled it. So MRTN, Martin Transport. Let's see if this is a special dividend paying company. Let's look at the numbers here. They look pretty good. Uh, dividend payment is not that high. I do not like the dividend yield. It looks overvalued. Even though they're a cheap company. So now let's look at the company. I'm just going to jump right into special dividends. Because that's what I said I was going to provide. I'm not going to provide too many charts in, in, in here. But I'll, I can do a quick peek for that. So as we can see here. It's not showing the amount. But it does show that there was a special dividend payment. So as we can see, this is a special dividend paying company. So as we can see here, four cents in 2020, four cents in 2021. Uh, they just raised it in 2022. So they are not raising dividends as fast as they are, but they're still doing okay. So last split that they did was in 2017. That's pretty frequent to have splits for this company. Uh, that just doesn't look so good. So as we can see here, it's not showing the amount for the special dividend payment. But again, they did pay a special, they did pay the special dividend. And it only looks like uh, once a year. And as you can see, it's started back in 2019. So yeah, let's look at the chart. And that is Martin Transport. The yearly chart looks pretty even to me. As you can see here, if we were to draw a line in the middle, um, for the majority of where the points are if you uh, again, let me just say this: If you were to draw a line to touch all these points, where would you draw a line as to all those points being touched? I would say about here, because they touch the most points. Because you can see a point here, it touches here, here, here. So that that's what you want to do, and you kind of want to be conservative on the safe side. Now, if we look at the high from that, we can see around up here. That touches a lot of points, too. So that's a range where you want to see of 
of a more or less range and that's being very very safe so we have here about uh i'd say about 1625 and a high of a range of about i'd say 1750 so as you can see that's only like about a dollar and change of a range so that's pretty much it for this company they are a dividend paying company next up that i have is pxt pxt parix parix or parix resources they are in the Toronto index, which is the Canadian index. Low dividends, low yield. People look at yields, I know. Uh, from what I see, it's under value. 52 week high and low of a difference of $13 for the year. It's not much. Um, so far, I don't like it. But let's look at the chart. The chart looks okay for the one year. They only have one dividend payment for the year. But let's just look at the special dividend. If they paid any, I don't see any. But that came up on my list. So they do not pay a special dividend. Next up that I have is Caldwell. This is another company that it has multiple names but different classes so let's look at this company i have uh first one up i have caldwell us which is this one on the toronto market it looks dead flat lines you can see no volume no anything no info it almost looks like it's, it's delisted I have no, this is a closed end fund. I have nothing to provide for you. So maybe I don't know if this got recently closed, but obviously it looks inactive. So it might be under what do I have here? Another one. I have CWL. Let's look at a different class. Again, same company, different class. So you, I mean, I go through the hard work for you, so that is why I'm trying to provide the same amount of work. I don't want to count any company out, even though it might be in a different class. So again, that's what I'm providing for you. Let's look at it anyway. Volume is horrible. Um, 52 week high and lows, horrible. Um, numbers I do not like right off the bat. Took a quick peek. I already looked at it. Looking at the chart, I don't like it. It's very, very choppy. That up and down doesn't look steady. Uh, let's see what it looks for. The five year, the five year looks nice, but again, you you didn't make much. Not even two dollars in five years. So the company, let's look at it. Let's look at the dividend payments. So in 2016, 17, one time in 18. And um, yeah, just they don't even raise the dividends. So it looks like it's a bad stock, bad management. They're not giving any raises. And again, uh, I understand if they're not giving raises every year. But if they do it even every other year, that still shows some interest for other people. And it just shows that it's a solid company when they're giving raises, you know? I mean, if they don't give raises, they only give raises every five years. It's To me, it's not worth it, but to each their own. I'm not going to be invested in a company that's not giving uh, special dividend payments on a regular basis. Things change, companies change, evaluations change, which is why you want to stay up to date, which is what I do. I stay on top of these companies, or at least I try to. 
Um, I put the work in, so this is what I do. So again, uh, no dividend raises. Uh, the splits, last time they did it was a two-for-one split, 1996, 1995. Uh, that's... A long time ago, I would say. That's like, like 30 years ago. Uh, but again, the stock has like no interest in it. Uh, it's a Canadian company. So usually Americans uh, stay with American stocks. It only makes sense. That's your only best bet. Uh, it's only right, to be honest. I guess, you know, people want to invest in their own country, which makes sense. So... For this sector, it's showing it's for the employment services. So for that stock in that class, I do not have anything. So let's move on to the next one for the class. And again, I don't know which are class A shares, B shares, and, and C shares. So bear with me. Um, all I can say, and just being honest, I just have different classes. I just don't know which type is which. So, you know, thanks for just being patient with me and going through this journey with me looking at the companies because uh it's hard to organize this and i think people learn from this and seeing all the you learn more when you see more so this is why i'm doing what i'm doing the next class that i have is cwl and this is the last one the pf and this is on the otc market very very risky over the counter um, I don't like over the counters. Is this the same one that I just saw? Or am I mistaken? Hold on. So yeah, I think that is the last class. So we have three classes. Let me back it up. So we have here, we have this one, CWL, that's a check mark. CW, did I do, uh, CWLPF, okay. And the last one, this is weird, and it's not even the same letters. I have UDA.UN. So another Toronto index, same company, uh, very inactive. And... It looks like it's not even active. So the last time it was actually trading was in 2018. So again, I apologize. It's not active, but that's another class of shares. That's the end of that company for the so-called special dividends for that company. Next company that I have, next up that I have is Titan mining so i think there are in the precious metals if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong so i have t n m no t sorry t n m c f titan mining awful stock as you can see Awful list. I mean, look at the price. Awful. 52-week low of nothing. 74 cents high. Uh, so specialty mining and metals. I was close enough. Uh, they are in the Canadian index. Even if they pay a special dividend, which they did, doesn't show the amount. Horrible company. Don't even, don't even bother. But again, I'm showing you what... My information has brought me. It, I got a notification that I paid the special dividend. Just wanted to see if it was a decent company. And I guess it's not. So stay away from it. This is another OTC company. Titan Mining. So looks awful. Even though they paid a special dividend. Moving on to the next one. I have. HTHT -T. Huazhu Group Limited. I hope I'm saying that right. Looks very active. Uh, 
They look profitable, maybe decent. Let's look at the market cap. Not bad. A little above 10 mil. 52 week high and low. Difference of $40. Not bad. Um, pretty decent. Can't count them out. So let's look at the five year, even though they seem pretty decent. So let's see from 2020. That was the bulk of the profit taking or the increase in price. Also the increase in percentage. But again, I, I like to see the price more than the percentage. So we have here a low in 2020 of uh, about 30 bucks. This was in April of 2020, all the way high of close to 60 bucks in 2021, February. So this past year, excuse me, it has dropped. And it seems like they started to pay a, a special dividend, starting to pay. Sorry, not a special dividend, a regular dividend. But hopefully they paid a special dividend. And maybe that even sparked some interest to pay the special and the regular dividend. Let's look at the profile real quick. So they are China. I'm not surprised. Uh, they are in the hotels. As you can see here, they're in the hotel industry, motels and cruise lines. Obviously, they are ADR. So that means when you see ADR, that always means uh, American deposit receipt. That means they are international companies. So, yes, they have their company listed on American markets, but the corporate structure and the corporate company and the headquarters and all that, the basically the top people in the company and the main location, the main land location is overseas. That's what it usually means. So it's listed on a market market, but the company is actually the main companies are mainly overseas. So we have here, they are in China. They develop, lease, own, it says here, franchise hotels. It says lease properties. Uh, so hotels, I guess. They, they mainly involve themselves with hotels. So again, it, it might say for this sector, hotels, motels, and cruise lines, it doesn't involve all of them. It's under that umbrella. So it, it, it could be all of them and it might be one of them. It might be one of those three out of the three or it could be two out of the three. So it looks like they are hotels, no motels and no cruise lines, just strictly hotels. So very active company. Let's see if they paid a special dividend and they did pay a special dividend back in 2017 as we can see here it doesn't show the amount you can always look that up on uh, nasdaq.com that's a good website to look at uh the dividend history if you want to make it easier what you do is do a google search and type in uh dividend history nasdaq and the, the link will come up for the dividend history for NASDAQ. And you can see the dividend payments. And again, you will see that special dividend payment. So again, as we can see here, they pay once a year. They did not pay in 2019. It looks like they're decreasing the dividend every year for the past, I I would say three years, but 2019 doesn't count. So, and 2021. So every other year they're paying a dividend and it keeps decreasing. So in 2018, so starting from 2015, they paid 68 cents. 2017, they paid whatever. Uh, the year later, it got lower to 34 cents. Two years later, 32 cents, it dropped. And two years later, now in 2022, 
it dropped so doesn't look like it's doing good so now give me one second let me just do no interruptions i apologize for that so moving on to the next one let's do uh s u b c y subsia so we have here subsia i do not seem interested it looks like a bad selection it paid a special dividend in 2021 uh split so special dividend in 2021 let's see here special dividend right here of 23 cents so what did they pay for they didn't pay anything for 2020 nothing for 2020 so this company seems like they only pay once a year so they did pay a special dividend let's see what they do real quick so it doesn't uh, look at the location if they have it again sector oil related services and equipment again this is not a company that i've heard of it says contracts in brazil where did i see that at right here I'm trying to write contracts in brazil so Again, this is their provider to seabed to surface engineering construction and services contracted to the offshore energy. Uh, that's a lot of information. Some of that, um, some of those things I quite don't understand, to be honest. All these terms, they have like surf. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, uh, the main idea for this is that they are in the oil related services and equipment. So they do construction and services. So it looks like they build the actual facilities and they do the pipelines and all that. Um, I don't know if they do it underground or over the ground. Um, I don't know. Maybe it might show on the website. But it also says it's got to be like on the sea as well. So, yeah. So, let's see here. Again, they didn't they didn't do anything for 2020. Um, they're paid a special dividend stock, but uh, to invest in the company, it's just not worth it. So next company that I have up, I have a few, two classes for this company. Same company, different classes. A-M-I-G-F, Admiral Group. Let's see if they are. So special dividend paying stock. Looks very inactive. They are. They. 52 week high and low. Um, so 9.71 billion dollar company. Um, I will have to see this company. When it opens. Again I don't trust it because it's an OTC market. I don't trust the OTC market. To each their own. I don't take that risk. That's, that's like ultra high risk. Um, even I don't take that high of a risk. I don't I don't trust it. Uh, again, they pay special dividends. I'm not sure what currency this is, GBP. Um, I know it's not can it's not Canadian or it's probably overseas somewhere. I'm thinking it's uh Europe. Sorry, European. Maybe wrong. Maybe right. Who knows. Um, you can look up what kind of currency is GBP. Uh, we'll look at that again. 
actually have some information here. So dividends was 1.2. Special dividend was 1.0. As we can see here, they paid in 2021. They paid two special dividends and two regular dividends in 2021. Sorry. You blow my nose if you guys don't mind. So, we have no yield here. I see no yield. I see no yield. We have all of that, but no yield. So, again, um, it looks inactive. I'm going to keep it at that. Good thing it says OTC market. That's very, very important. I'm glad. I'm glad it shows that. Because <laughs> for me, that's just a huge red flag. So next up, have the same company, different class of shares. I have it as AMIG. Why? Another OTC market has a little bit more volume. 52 week high and low, a difference of 20 bucks. This one looks a little bit more active, a little bit better. You can see here they are involved in property and casualty insurance. You can see here they are very heavily involved in the location of United Kingdom, the UK, which is England. So let's look at the dividends history. So we have here dividend in 2021. So we have all this here. We have 78 cents, uh, 78 cents. Special dividend doesn't show the amount, but again, you can see from here, Increase in dividend from 78 cents to a dollar and 13. Let's look at the split. Nothing for the split. Special dividend. Let's see what they paid. 98 cents. So that's not bad. Better than nothing. As we can see here also. Dividend yield of about 9%. An annual dividend payment of about three dollars, which is not bad. Again, I will I will stress this as much as I can. This is an over-the-counter market stock. These are very and ultra high risky. Even I I don't like investing in these type of stocks. But again, to each their own. Please do your due diligence. These are very, very high risk. Investing in the in this kind of index when it's very, very private like that on the OTC markets. Again, uh, it can be very volatile. Um, you can have transactions where you don't find a lot of buyers and sellers. So even when you buy a certain amount of shares, you're more likely not to sell or buy the amount that you are asking for or the amount that you are selling for. So please be careful with that, please. Um, that's not a... It's not a market you want to really mess with too much. Even though everything seems to be too good to be true, which it can be. So the next one up is an ETF. I don't know why this came up as a special dividend payer. I have no information for you. I can't really see anything to provide for you i don't have much information to click on um 
You know, it's just, I don't know why that came up. But even though it came up and, and I'm showing it and I have it, this is all I can provide to what it, it has uh, shown me. So I might as well show it off. Uh, dividend yield of 9%. It's called the Special Opportunities Fund. Maybe it has a special dividend. Maybe it does not. Who knows? I don't have any history. Or not much uh, performance information. Just very, very basic. That's all I have. I have here dividend history payment but again i have nothing for special dividend history so no splits which is good so i mean i i'm i don't even know why this came up so again um leave it alone i'd say no there's not much info i have uh if you want to take a look at this uh company or stock or an etf i mean you're more than welcome um I'm not into ETFs like that. That's not my That's not my expertise and I don't want it to be. I'm just I'm just to be honest, I'm just not interested to be honest. I'm not interested in ETFs to be honest. So, next one up that I have is This might be a company where some of you have heard of. It is called Wingstop. Yes, Wingstop. Ticker symbol W I N G. Wingstop Inc. Obviously, they sell wings. This is a food and retail company, I bet. As we can see here, last five years, look at the chart. Looks good. Now, for the one year, it has dropped from the high of about 182. Now it's down all the way down to like 109. So we're looking at a loss of at least uh 40 percent i'd say guesstimating that's almost half the value as you can see here they have paid five times we have one payment here two three four and five so we have five payments for the year they do pay special dividends i know that for sure this is a three billion dollar company so 52 week high and low, the difference for that for the year is about 80 bucks. Pretty good. Shows that they're growing at a fast rate. But again, these are one of these companies from the 2020 that has always been overvalued since 2020. Now you see it coming back to pretty much fair value or wanting to come back to it. Uh, so as we can see here, in about two years' time, it came back all the way down to 2020 evaluations. So, with that said, let's look at the profile real quick. So, restaurants and bars. So, Wingstop is a fast, casual chicken and food restaurant. Uh, they have that going on for them. We have next up the special dividends of $4 in 2022. 2021, what do we have for the special dividend? We have nothing. 2020, we have here special dividend of $5. Now ask yourself, is this a regular, is this a company that pays regular special dividend payments? Um, for the most part, yes, as you can see from the history. Ever since 2016, again, it might show that down here, I don't know, I'm sorry you guys can't see that, but it says 2.9 down there. So... Right down there in 2016, 2.9. It says dividend, but that's really a special dividend payment. Next up, that was uh, in 2018, special dividend payment. 2018, again, div special dividend payment. 
I think that's why in 2019, sorry, in 2018, they didn't really pay. Sorry, in 2019, I, I meant to say 19 when I said 18 um, a few seconds ago. But yeah, in 2019, they didn't really pay a special dividend. So, again, I can't make any guarantees. And again, they already paid the special dividend back a few days ago, actually, this week. So, as you can see there, they did pay a special dividend of $4. There's no guarantees they might make a special payment. Who knows? I guess people love Wings, so, I mean, who knows? Um, so, again, this company does pay rising dividends. And a yield of not even 1%. Uh, yearly dividend is pretty low. So if you want to get this company for the rising dividends, it's not worth it. Uh, even some capital appreciation, maybe. Uh, give it time to drop some more. This looks like one of those companies that still has further room to go down. So I'll let that happen. And hopefully the yield is more interesting. Uh, it's rare to see companies that that even pay not even a 1% under a 1%. So that's pretty rare to see. Um, if it were me, I'd wait till it drops some more. Uh, if you want to keep your eye on it, keep your eye on it. Um, if you like the food and beverage sector, so be it. To each their own. I'm not crazy about it. Um, but again, it may it may have room to grow again since it has hit those highs and it dropped from its 2020 peak all the way to 2022 and it and it has dropped as you can see. So next one up that I have is I have a bunch of companies left, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but um this is the info that I have. Next up I have is RP. K R P K I F Richard's packaging. I don't like it right away. I saw OTC very inactive. Let's see if they have a special dividends payment. It does not look like it. It looks like they paid 11 cents. Oh, wait up. So, with that said, we have here looks like they're paying a monthly. So some people might like this. This is, looks like a monthly dividend paying company. If you like monthly dividends, that looks like it. But again, along with these monthly dividends, and this is a Canadian company, by the way, it does not look like they paid any special dividends. But again, as you can see, this increase in 2022. Look at these 2022 numbers. They've been paying 11 cents for the longest even all the way down till uh, 2017, been paying 11 cents. So again, you barely got in a raise. And it looks like in 2022, they have upped it from 11 cents to 69 cents. So who knows? I doubt they'll give an increase based on its history. And again, it's an OTC market. So, no special dividends, but monthly dividends. And again, market cap of 403 million. We have total dividends for the year, annual dividends of a dollar and change, dividend yield at 2.78. So, again, no special dividends, but they pay monthly dividends. Um, let's stay away from it. I have the same company, but a different class of stock for this company. RPI. What was my pen not punching in? No. RPI dot. Come on. U N. There we go. Richard's packaging. There we go. So. 
different class, $542 million company. It shows that they're growing at a fast rate, but I don't really see it as active. So the company's growing. There's just not people involved. Dividend of 1.3. The yield is at 2.6, close to 2.7. Not even going to look at the chart because we saw it before. It's probably similar to the same company with the with the other class that I just did. As we can see here, another monthly paying dividend. I don't trust it. I don't like it. They're not paying special dividends. Uh, splits, they haven't had any. Uh doesn't show they are OTC, but I would still be cautious since the other class of shares are OTC. Again, you can always see if they're open and active in the market. Uh, just because they pay a monthly dividend doesn't mean it's, it's going to continue to pay that. Or it's good for it. Again, everybody has to has to do their own due diligence. Again, they have no rising dividends, so I don't really like this company. I'd stay away from it, even though it's a different class. Next up that I have, CMRE. PRD. Okay, I have that one. So for the five year, it looks like they broke even. For the one year, they paid four dividends, which is a quarterly dividend. Doesn't look like much. Uh, the numbers I do not like. Market cap is only slightly above a hundred million. Dividend yield of eight point two nine. A lot of people like that annual dividend of two point. One eight close to 2.2, which is good, but again, the price and according to the chart, it doesn't look attractive. Find something better. This company is in the industry for marine freight and logistics. Let's see where the location is. Uh, I don't know that location, looks like, um. An Asian country or definitely overseas. And let's look at the dividend history. If they paid any special dividends, I don't see any. So moving on to the next one, different class. We have C M R E. P R E. This one looks more active. One twenty one million dollar company. Same dividend payment, close to the same yield. Did they pay a special dividend? No, the same thing. Any splits? Nope. Let's look at the chart real quick again. Uh, for the one year, five years flat, one year slightly down. And that's all there is to it. Next one up, C M R E. We have P R C. Uh, same thing. Looks flat. Hundred million dollar company, slightly above, about the same dividend yield, a little bit above eight percent. So we have the company for. Dividends, same thing. It looks like I reviewed the same exact company four times. And again, as you can see, different class of company, but the same market cap, the same share price, same dividends amount, same everything. So as we can see here, different price, $2 billion company. This looks like the class A company. 
definitely. With that market cap, it's usually best market cap and better price. I mean, price I don't really look at. You really want to pay attention to the market cap when it's the class A. And you want to see if it's active. There's just certain techniques and certain key points of info that you want to look at when it comes to class A. So we have here 2.7 dividend yield percent, uh, annual yield of 46 cents, 52 week high and low for a difference of like $9. We can see here very volatile. Went up from July, then down all the way to November, then went up again. Might look like a trend to go down again, which is pretty scary. Now let's look at the company and let's look at the press release. Let's look at that, which is what we're here for. No special dividends. No rising dividends as well. So we have that covered. And that's pretty much it. Let's look at one last one for this one. So we have CMRE. And we have, let's see, the PRB class. So this looks like the lowest market cap and a higher share price. Let's look at the special dividends and it has nothing, the split it has nothing. So the class A shares looks like a little CMRE. And again, they didn't even pay any kind of special dividends. Next company, totally different. Next one up, I have CSGP, Co-Star Group. This company is pretty active. As we can see, they have a split in July. So let's click on that. They had a 10 for one split in June. Sorry, I said July, but close to July. So it was in June 28th of 2021. As we can see here, the stock price has gone down ever since the earnings call for last year has gone down dramatically. Pretty active stock still, as you can see here, 52 week high and low, the difference of about 50 bucks. Market cap of about $27 billion. No dividend and no dividend yield, but let's look at the dividend history anyway. Because since it's a special dividend or a bonus, it is not considered to be a regular payment. Therefore, it is not in the annual payment or the dividend yield. So with that said, it is at a share price of $67.56. Uh, that's all I have for that stock. And I have the same stock, but... It is in the private market, which is the OTC market. I have it as CTTQF. So this is Costa Group. And another the other one before was CoStar Group. So it was a similar name, but I wasn't sure which one was which. But I needed to check it anyway. So... This looks like the Australian dollar. Dividend payments, but nothing special for the dividend payments. No special ones. The chart is flat. Looks inactive, so stay away from it. Bad stock, too cheap, and it's just pretty much dead. So moving on to the next one. It is NLP. X and F. Noble Mineral. Very, very choppy as you can see for the one year. We have here press release. No dividends or no special dividends at all. Uh, nothing to look at here. Nothing active. 
and it's an OTC market stock. Next up I have is B set B S E T No, that's not what I put. So we have Bassett Furniture Industries. We still have a bunch of more companies to go. Hopefully you're staying with me. So we have here earnings of 1.8, special dividend, sorry, dividends of 56 cents, dividend yield of 3.3. It looks like they have a special dividend payment. I'm sure they do. Uh, for this stock, they are a $164 million company. It shows that they are undervalued, which is not too bad. This seems like a decent company. As we can see here, let's load up those special dividends. Let's see what we have. So we have special dividends starting to pay as far as, wow. Let's go all the way down. Wow, look at this history. I'm glad they have it. So we have here, that's too far down. So let's go back to the last 10 years. Let's do that. So we have here in 2012, $1.25. In 2013, uh, starting from here, we have nothing. But we do have five payments here. We have five payments here. One, two, three, four, five. So this looks like the special dividend payment of 20 cents. So better than nothing. Again, five payments in 2014. So we have here five payments. So this one here looks like the special dividend payment. And it looks like they're doing rising dividends. Six cents, eight cents, eight cents, nine cents. So rising dividends, let's go up to 2016. Five payments. They have a history of five payments at least. Uh, four payments in 2018. So again, regular payments, rising dividends. Sometimes they pay the... Special dividends, they paid one in 2020. Now, in 2021, let's see here. They only made four payments. And in 2022, so far, they did pay the special dividend uh, this past week, March 22nd, at a dividend of 1.5. So that's pretty good. It looks like they're... Somewhat consistent on paying the special dividends. So this was company B set. The real company name is Bassett Furniture Industries, and they are in the home furniture home furnishing uh, sector. But let's see what they actually do. Uh, I guess they rent out. They might rent out furniture. I'm um, trying to read warehouse and branded stores. So they sell furniture. So that's what they do. They sell furniture and manufacture it. So decent company. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll watch this to keep my eye on it. And um, definitely a decent company. Cheap price. So let's look at the next one. Next one I have is... H G H A F High Arctic. This is a over the counter company. I don't like it. Uh, moving on to the special dividends. Let's look at that. Canadian uh, index. So they do pay a special dividend. They only paid one in 2021. They don't seem. So they paid. Quarterly, I mean, they're not raising their dividends, first of all. And I'm trying to figure out how often they paid. You see here in 2020, this was all the way down to 2019. So it looks like they paid monthly in 2019. 
And then in 2018, they paid twice. It looks like they try to pay in 2018, but then they cut it out. Uh, all the way to the end of the year in 2018, and they restarted in 2019. As you can see, in 2020, the first two payments were in January and February. It looks like they cut it off again. 2021, special dividend, and they cut it off in 2020, like I said. So, um, very inconsistent. I mean, if they're going to cut off the monthly payment, at least do it quarterly or maybe biannually. But if you do it two months back to back, it throws people off because then you're going to think, oh, yeah, I'm going to get the next dividend payment next month since it's a monthly dividend and then it's not so then it throws people off and i just don't like inconsistency and it shows for this stock i'd say no to this stock it's an otc market um that could even happen on the major indexes for stocks so what i'm saying is um just because it's a private market doesn't mean it can happen i mean doesn't mean that it cannot happen in a major market uh what i'm saying is if it happened once or it happened anywhere or if it happened in even a smaller market, take it as it is. It can also happen in a major market and anywhere else in any index, uh, which is, uh, well, any major index is what I mean. The NASDAQ or the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones or even overseas as well. So... I say no. Let's move on to the next one. Next one is I'm closing in on the finish line. There's still more companies. I mean, sorry I'm taking this long, but these are the companies that I have. I have MUX. I have one for the U.S. side and one for the Canadian side. Um, I don't like how cheap it is, uh, but let's see if they paid a special dividend. It looks like a no, so I'm moving on to the next one. MUX again, but for the Canadian McEwing Mining Inc. Cheap stock uh, for a dollar. I don't like it. Very, very risky. So, no payments ever since 2019. And no splits as well. So that's the end of that company. Next one up is SFDL. We have here Security Fed Corp. You see these chops and these flats. Very awful company, even for the price. It's an OTC market company. Awful. Um, don't even look at it. But again, I'm going to show you if they have any special dividends. It does not look like they have any. Uh, let's look at the sector. They're in a bank. So that's probably going to come up on my list. It looks awful. So I'm going to move on to the next one. RMR. HF. Rand Merchant. They are Merc. They are. Sorry. They are in the OTC market. I was going to say merchandising uh, sector, but that is not the case. They are multi-line insurance and brokers. But again, as you can see, very inactive stock. Stay away from it. I'd say no. I don't even know what kind of currency this is. The czar. They've paid only in 2021, nothing in 2022. Awful company. Any splits? No, but very inactive company. They, I mean, you can see where they're close to a billion dollar company, but you know, the volume, you have no info, no nothing. I mean, the chart is flat and you know, nothing, nothing, nothing. I mean, the price, yeah, but it could have just been between this price range here. What I want to point out, that price could have been between five sellers. Who knows? It could have been between two or three sellers and buyers. So with that said, you know, 
you can be stuck playing hot potato and then look what happens, you know? You just get flatlined. And it just doesn't look good. It's just bad for business with these OTC markets. You can see here. Sorry, let me circle it again. You can see here, OTC market. Um, I just don't trust them. I don't like them. I stay away from them. Just I just run away as soon as I see them. Um, I pay no mind. Uh, so, yeah, they're just they're horrible. You really don't want to get caught up in that. And you always want to see if it is an OTC market. Um, good thing for Webull, it already shows me that. It'll it'll tell me right off the bat automatically. But for other sites, they might not, which is why I love Webull. Uh, I'm not crazy about this company. I already saw the OTC. Awful. I'm sure they're not going to pay anything, which is what I thought. Uh, same company, but a different ticker symbol. Let's see if they are under... this one so they are under the london exchange so we can see here very expensive company 204 billion dollar company this is a big company this is definitely a big company uh share price insane earnings insane dividend yield of not even one percent dividend payment annually of 15 bucks this is definitely a big company. So they do an active company as well. So it's just too rich for my blood. They are paying, wow, a measly five cents of the Great Britain pound. So this company is not even worth it for the dividend collection. And it's weird. It showed that it paid $15, but then when I look at the history, it doesn't show that. So, might have been a special dividend payment, and um, it just didn't come up in an international exchange. So, too expensive. I don't like it. Let's move on to the next one. Same company, but I have it under a different ticker symbol we have here very very inactive company uh so the euro annual dividend so no special dividends no special dividends moving on to the next one t w i r f otc market awful company as well uh, they did pay special dividends in 2021, twice in 2021. Did they pay a rising dividend? Yeah, they did. But as we can see here, ever since 2019, they paid two cents. The year before that, even down to 2016, they pay two cents. So, too slow for me. Last split that they did was one for two in 2014. I stay away from that. Company is called Tree Island Steel. So I'm sure they are in the steel industry, iron and steel industry. Um, so they're manufacturer and supplier. Again, awful company, awful market. Well, awful industry for the country that it's in and for their peers and all. So it's not that, you know, because the American market is a strong market and we have so many industries that are doing good. So I guess in Canada, that's just not a strong industry is what I'm trying to say. Last company on my list. Finally, I, th I, th I said 30 companies. I might have more. So I apologize for that. But again, I'm providing as many companies as I can. Special dividend of 7%. Sorry, not special dividend. Dividend yield of 7%. Dividend total 
is 1.4. Earnings is 4.7. Not even a billion dollar company. It's like half a billion dollar company. Let's see if they have paid special dividends. I have nothing. And this is a close end fund. I don't see a history of payments of dividends. So I'm not going to trust it, even though it says 7%. We're just entering 2022, so that could have been last year's results, and they might not have reported yet. Even if they did, it will still be most likely from Q4 of 2021. So I'm going to say no to this company as well. That is the last one that I have, and they are not a dividend-paying company. And that is all I have for you today. Uh... Thank you guys for watching. If you've seen this whole video, like, subscribe, and comment. I have so much information to still give out in the future. Sorry for taking up your time. Uh, but again, this is valuable information. Hopefully, you can watch this at a faster speed. Again, watch this at a 1.5 speed. So, I won't take up too much of your time. And <laughs> hopefully, you learn a thing or two from my channel. My mouth is so dry from talking too much. But, um, yeah, thank you guys. Have a good weekend. Stay safe. And invest smart, guys. Invest smart. That's my best advice as always. So see you guys in the next one.